welcome back to my channel where we're about that breaking cycle side ah it's another thursday and we're thankful to god for bringing us thus far many people have not made it to this day but we are grateful that god has blessed us once again with life and for those who didn't make it to their family we express our sincerest condolences as hard as it is to say and as cliche as it is god knows why it happened honestly that's something i would have come to fathom um in my own life and i've come to understand like we really can't understand the ways of god sometimes so in all things give thanks and then all things will work for our good okay so today's bible study is from genesis 25 and i'm going to read for you and then we'll get into it there's really just one major um lesson out of this and we'll get there so it says abraham again took a wife and her name was keturah and she bore him zimran jokshan medan midian ishbak and shura jokshan begot, begot Sheba and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Ashurim, led, led to Shim, Lem, all oh, these names, guys, Neumim, and the sons of Midian were Ephav, Epher, Hanok, Abida, and Elda. All these were the children of Keturah, and Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. But Abraham gave gifts to the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, and while he was still living, he sent them eastward, away from Isaac his son, to the country of the east. This is the sum of the years of Abraham's life which he lived, 175 years. And Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and he was gathered to his people. And his sons, and his sons Isaac and Ishmael, buried him in the cave of Machpelah, Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar, and the Hittite, the field which Abraham purchased from the sons of Heth. There Abraham was buried, and Sarah his wife, and it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt at Beer Lahai Roy. Now this is the genealogy of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's maid servant, bore to Abraham, and these were the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nabajot, that then Kedar, Adbil, Mipsam, Mib, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadar, Tima, Jeter, uh, Nafish, and Kedema. These were the sons of Ishmael, and these were their names by their towns and their settlements, twelve princes according to their nations. These were the years of the life of Ishmael, 137 years, and he breathed his last death, he, he breathed his last and died, and was gathered to his people. They dwelt in Havilah as far as Shur, which is east of Egypt, as you go toward Assyria. He died in the presence of all his brethren. This is the genealogy of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah as wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan, and Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. Now Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord granted his plea, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. But the children struggled together within her, and she said, If all is well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, two people shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. So when her days were fulfilled to give, for her to give birth, indeed there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red, he was like a hairy garment all over, so they called his name Esau. Afterward, his brother came out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, so his name was called Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when she bore them. So the, grew, so the boys grew, and Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field. But Jacob was a mild man, 
telling in tents, and Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game. But Rebecca loved but Rebecca loved Jacob. Now Jacob cooked a stew, and Esau came in from the field, and he was weary. And Esau saw, and Esau said to Jacob, Please feed me with that same red stew, for I'm weary. Therefore his name was called Edom. But Jacob said, Tell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die. So what is this birthright to me? And then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. So he bore to him and sold him sold his birthright to Jacob, and Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank, arose, and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. And that's the end of it. <sighs> okay, so um, this chapter is telling us about Abraham's second wife. Well, yeah, second wife because he had a mistress, Hagar. Right, it's telling us about Ishmael and his descendants, um, Keturah and uh, Isaac. So really, the the main the main lesson out of this chapter is Rebecca and Isaac and Esau and Jacob right so the first one is a reiteration of what I've been saying you see God pleaded he I'm um, Isaac pleaded sorry and went to God for um, for his uh, his wife to have a child so it's not uncommon for a woman to be barren in the old days and it's still not uncommon now right but there's a reason why God would have closed her womb for a very long time because it just wasn't the time as yet and uh, we don't it wasn't necessarily explained here as to what reason um, Rebecca was barren for, for a period of time but um, I'm pretty sure um, it would have been for some lesson or just a waiting process, right? But the point is, if you are barren, if you are having a hard time giving birth, God has a plan for you. And if it's his will, you should ask him his will. What's your will for my life? Is your will to let me wait and then I'll have a child of my own? Is your will... For me to go and adopt and give someone um, the opportunity to have a proper mother or a proper um, father or just just a proper family that they have been missing because they're either an orphan or they've been abandoned right um, what is his will for your life in regards to parenthood and uh, here we see another prophecy um, being spoken and we'll see it being fulfilled in the later day as actually it starts out in this in in this chapter um, of how the prophecy is going to be fulfilled um God said to Rebecca you'll have two nations fighting against each other and uh, the older will rule the younger and uh, we can see this being played out with Jacob deceiving Esau <laughs> and and uh, allowing Esau to sell him his birthright right so the main lesson here for me honestly is we need to ride and die with God that's just how how serious this relationship is with God because you see he said here Esau said, what is his birthright to me? I am about to die. Like, honestly, guys, Jesus died for us. Are we willing to die and not give up our birthright, which is salvation? Just because um, we're getting a bit of push from work. We're getting a bit of struggle from home. We're getting a bit of struggle from um, or let me not even dumb it down or let me not even um, water it down let it be the struggle is great from work the struggle is great from home the struggle is great in every aspect of your life 
and it just seems like dying is the best option or dying is right at your <laughs> doorstep honestly um are you willing to hold on to your birthright because we should not be like Esau this is why the young the older started to serve the younger because Jacob saw the importance in the birthright you know that love that we have for God that Christianity that we express to those around us people can see it within us right just as how Jacob saw um just as how Jacob saw um the importance of the birthright that's how they see the importance of the salvation that we have that is given to us and for some apparent reason they're not believing that they can attain that for themselves right so unfortunately some people will try to take it the way <laughs> Jacob did but there's a big lesson to learn from Esau we need to hold on to our birthright as as tight as possible because it is necessary for seeing Jesus face to face honestly it's salvation how willing are we to hold on to salvation the birthright because trust me we're going to be persecuted we will die some of the some of us will die some of us will, will just go straight to heaven or see it until Jesus returns right are you willing to hold on in spite of death right and uh, that's something that we all need to realize and choose for ourselves at some point to know that it is definitely something that we ought to ponder and make a serious decision in doing and that is to hold on to the gift of salvation love the love of christ and the sacrifice of christ ride or die with god that's really our main lesson here are we willing to do that and as we're about to end our bible study let's not be deceived because of food or the things of this world that we give up our birthright because of those things and lose out on the benefits of salvation with Christ okay and uh, another lesson honestly in regards to Jacob if there was a prophecy fulfilled to you you don't need to try and manipulate it in a way that you know <laughs> apparently it's common for us as Christians I will not exclude myself um, that we want to help God to fulfill the promise and we need to learn to step back let go and allow god to do what he's doing right and see jacob didn't have to deceive but god knew that that was gonna happen but god wanted it to happen maybe in another way but of course the frailty of man causes things but god's ultimate plan will still come to pass so we so those are the lessons for this chapter i hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week and i hope you learned a lesson and uh, guys be a ride or die for god as hard as it is okay <laughs> i'll see you on sunday for sunday song spotlight bye bye have a great day Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's encouragement and I hope you guys are ready for the day ahead. Now do me a favor and press that like button and subscribe button if you are new so that we can get more of this positive Christian content out into the world, okay? And I'll link my daily devotional playlist right here and my Let's Talk playlist if you want to tackle some social issues, okay? So have a great day guys. Bye-bye.